with the first day of the new term, students and staff are finding enhanced security measures and new technology as they return to the classroom. It's all aimed at keeping our schools as safe as possible. Ed Pierce has this story. Much of what it takes to keep our schools safe comes down to knowing who and what is present on a campus. And that begins at the front door. And there's a check-in process just so we know who's in the building at all times. Uh, it's really important that we know who's in the building at all times and what they're doing. Most schools have long since been designed for single entry. Some schools, though, will find new construction to keep the process even more secure. Visitors will still have to present some form of government-issued ID and wear a visitor's badge as they sign in. And they may find themselves talking with staff through a new layer of safety glass as they do. All the usual advice to families still apply, including the role students can play in keeping today's schools safe. They're going to hear things and see things, and they need to report those to a, an adult that they trust on campus. Um, the one thing I stress and I cannot stress enough is do not spread things on social media, especially if it comes to a, a reported threat or something like that. Report it to an adult. They can get that information to us, and we can start investigating it. The biggest change is still in works and may show up on a lanyard around the neck of all school staff by the new year. It's an ID card with a big difference, a button which, when pressed, can send an alert. They can press it three times, and it's a localized alert just for their building. So, like, say, a medical issue or, you know, somebody falls and, you know, breaks an arm or something like that. Uh, if they continuously press it, then it goes directly to our dispatch, and then it summons police response immediately. If something looks suspicious or if a staff member sees something in the neighborhood or um, someone walking by campus, um, they'll have an easier way of alerting. Ed Pierce, Colo 8 News Now.